RTE1 Brody serves up trouble on Shortland Street. Please tell me this isn't for Isaac. In a word, yuck. Well, then who's TK? Is TK about? No. Sarah called and he flew out the door. Right. Yeah, if you want to catch them, they're probably at the IV. Thanks. OK, bye. Here we are, boys, on the house. For real? Real. Uh, I couldn't interest you in the dinner menu, or would that be counterproductive to your drinking? <laughs> Finally, a barman who understands. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep these coming. Right, um, you wouldn't be interested in rooms upstairs, would you? I mean, more time for drinking, less time for finding a hotel and a taxi and... Yeah, why not? Great. Um, as it happens, I've actually got an executive suite with a couple of adjoining rooms. It's reasonably priced, but it is our last one, so if you guys want it, you'll it. And put the rest of the tab on this, will you? Great. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, hey, you couldn't slip her between the sheets, could you? I'll mention it, but she's the boss, so I don't fancy your chances. <laughs> Were you nice just room. talking about me with those men over there? Yeah, that mouthy one asks if you can replace the mint on his pillow. Now. Well, you can't blame the guy for trying. I mean, look at you. But. Don't worry, they will forget all about you as they stumble merrily up the stairs to their executive suite. Let not be too merry. Some of us have work in the morning. Granddad. The executive suite's expensive. Yeah, I bribed them with a free bottle of Merlot. Pardon? Well, it's all part of my eat, drink and stay package that I'm thinking about pushing. Taking advantage of the drunk and vulnerable. I think I need to give you a lesson in ethics. And I think I need to give you a lesson in business. See, it's all about providing complimentary services, Soph, and when people drink, they can't drive. And lo and behold, we can accommodate. Saul, so listen to me. Yeah, it's a medical emergency. We need a helicopter. No, don't give him anything. Can you hear me? Take your T-shirt off, Saul, and, and tie it tightly around his leg. Very tight, but do not touch the wound. His name is... Hello? That's the third time that's happened. Well, keep trying. Tell him it's life or death. Firm. Tight. Um, what is the Indonesian word for tight? Uh, Saul, can you, can you put the phone to Daniel's ear? I need to speak to Daniel. Yeah, this is TK Samuels again. Helicopter charter, please. Don't put me on hold. Daniel, Daniel. Okay. <clears throat> Tell Saul to tie his T-shirt tightly around your leg, all right, as tight as he can, and then do not touch it, do not put anything on it, and do not move at all. Sorry, I got stuck in recess. Oh, you're here now. Yeah, hi, this is um, Dr. TK Samuels. My son has just been bitten by a blue temple viper on Komodo. He needs a helicopter. Yeah, I'll play. OK, is the T-shirt tight? All right, we'll leave it alone. How's the charter looking? She got me on hold. Do you think they'll get there in time? Yeah, they will have to. Uh, is there anything you want me to do? Uh, yeah, mate, um, I meant to be at Tanya's. Can you please ring her and let her know what's happening? Sure. Do you have a number? Uh, yep. You better not be cancelling. Tanya, uh, it's Maxwell. Oh, hi. Uh, you're expecting TK for dinner or something? Yeah. Yeah, he's been held up. And Sarah? Yeah. Unbelievable. You heard already? Not really. Uh, Daniel's been bitten pretty bad by a snake in Indonesia. It's hematotoxic and they're trying to airlift him to hospital before the venom spreads. Well, I hope he's okay. So, um, I'll catch you later. Uh, yeah, see ya. It takes a lot of effort to make something so easy seem so impossible. Well, I come with offers of help and provisions. Oh, yum. So, what are you doing here? I just came to tell you that I won't be making it home for dinner. You told me this morning you wouldn't be. Right. Sorry. Long day. <laughs> Would you like me to drop you at the IV? No, it's okay. I um, might take a break with Bella while I'm here. Okay. Everything all right, Bella? Oh, I wanted to get on top of a few things. Nearly finished. Nearly fired. I don't understand half of this. It's just a simple slideshow, isn't it? And some spreadsheets. Leo wants these graphs and tables animated for the presentation. OK, let me drive for a bit. Right, first things first. Assess the situation. 
And what do I do? Watch and learn and chop up that cake. With pleasure. And thanks for the Sophie. I thought you might have bailed on me. No way. We're friends now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, helicopter to Komodo then to Indonesia. My son is coming in. He needs treatment for a blue viper snake bite. Daniel Potts, P O T T S. Ah, uh, Sarah, they'll do it. They just need your credit card number. Yes, yes, that's it. Um, he's coming in by helicopter from Komodo. Thank you. Okay, bye. Hello? How much? Oh. No, it's sorry. okay, Maxwell. Explain. I'm sorry. Um, what currency is that? Is Daniel going to be okay? Um, his legs are immobilized and compressed. Um, as long as he gets the antivenom in time, he should be fine. Is that Indonesian currency? That's American dollars. But my credit card limit's only six New Zealand dollars. It's not enough. Look, there's at least six on mine. Tell them we'll split payment. Um, I, I have two credit cards. Go to dinner. I, I don't mind. So it's Hey, uh, we can always postpone dinner and do it another time. One card. Yep. Are you sure? Four, five, yeah, you, um, you need to be here. <laughs> and you, oh. you look right. Oh. Breakfast at 7 a.m., please. Oh. Certainly. Uh, can I just you in another drink? Oh, I'm calling last round. Oh. It's about time. I thought those guys would have drunk your drive by now. <laughs> well, that was the plan. I offered them a room upstairs so they could make the most of it. Yeah. Quite the businessman, aren't you? Oh, you look too much. You are. You're a funny bugger, aren't you? Oh, hey? <laughs> All right, last call, guys. Could I just you in a top shelf nightcap? I'll go on then. That whiskey up there, she's been calling my name all evening. Oh, right. Well, at least one of us will get lucky, eh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's for your troubles and for suggesting that room upstairs. We'll definitely be back next month. Right. Well, you guys are happy, we're happy. <laughs> Cheers. 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 I'm not looking. I'm just heading straight up to my room. No, I'm not. I'm... Open your eyes, Nicole. Someone got stood up. Yeah, kind of. But it's OK. Daniel was bitten by a snake in Indonesia. It was chaos. Is he all right? I, I don't know. Sarah and TK spent all night organising for him to be airlifted to hospital. Phew. Well, of all the reasons to be stood up, that's a pretty good one. Hmm. Well, it's not like he didn't want to come. He was too busy to even call me. I mean, Maxwell had to. Really? Why? What's wrong with that? Nothing. Lucky Sarah having two guys to call upon in her hour of need. Daniel is, like, basically TK's son. Uh, and, and Maxwell was probably working. I can totally understand why she called TK and he had to stay. Don't get defensive. Sarah needed him. He was there. It's cool. Thankfully, people don't get bitten by snakes all the time. Yeah. I mean, it's not like something like this would happen ever again. The snake part. Anyway. <laughs> Shutting up a while there. Uh, I was. I am. Well, which is it? Some of us need to get some sleep. <sighs> right, uh, in the words of Porky Pig, that's all, folks. We are closing up. Ah, uh, spoil sport. Well, you guys got to work in the morning, don't you? Oh, whatever. Bung that bottle of whiskey on our bill. Uh, unfortunately, I can't actually allow you to take spirits upstairs. Maybe a bottle of wine? Make it three, and you've got a deal. That Merlot you treated us to before. All right, done. All right. Happy evening, one and all. Bed. Not yet, mate. We're just getting cracking. Oh. Uh, un unfortunately, our liquor license doesn't actually extend to wholesale, so bed is probably a good idea, and bed is that way. You're shutting up shop. We can't drink here. Just look the other way, mate. We've paid our dues. OK, look, just this once, all right? On ya. Uh, would you mean like me to call you a taxi? No, no, we'll walk to the rank. We'll see you later. All right. At 4 a.m., when they stagger home sideways, waking me up. Would you like me to go out and purchase you some earplugs, sir? I'll live. And here was me thinking you were up partying all night. 
Poor you. Poor Daniel. Mm. Well, he's stable now. They got the anti-venom to him in time. Mm. That's a relief. Mm. Are you going over? No, no, Sarah is. Uh, she's off to Sydney today, so she can catch the direct flight to Jakarta. I thought you got him to Bali. Yeah, yeah, but the facilities are still quite third world, so as soon as he's well enough to be transferred, he'll go straight to Jakarta Hospital. Mm, they're much better equipped there. I'm glad he'll be OK. Yeah, me too. Thank you. Well, um, if you're not too tired, maybe I could cash in on that dinner promise tonight. Why don't you let me cook this time? It's the least I could do. We'd say no to that. And I will make myself scarce. OK. Um, thanks for this. <laughs> I'll see you later. Looking forward to it. Well, Sarah should be over international waters by then, so there should be no disruptions. Uh, Daniel's accident was hardly a disruption. It was an emergency. When it comes to Sarah, everything is an emergency for TK. Believe me, I learned that the hard way. Triple strength caramel shot. Oh, you are a doll. Did you get it all done on time? Thanks to you. It looks amazing. The slides all slide, the spreadsheet, well, spreads. <laughs> Gold star for you. Ah, it's all done. I've emailed Kellen the slideshow. Printing the spreadsheets now. I knew you could do it. Well done. Thank you. Could you print off two copies, please? One highlighting last year's figures, one highlighting the year before. I only included last year's. That's what you asked for, wasn't it? I expected a bit more initiative from you. Since we're working within a two-yearly cycle, it might be beneficial to have two years' worth of figures, don't you think? Of course. Makes total sense. But if you still need it by lunchtime... I do. Well, I'll need some help. I've got a speech to type up for Callum, plus all my other work. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you how to prioritise your workload, Bella. No, no, of course not. I can't hold your hand the whole day. I've got my own work to do. You didn't tell me about the extra figures. <laughs> it's OK. Just do what you did last night and you'll be fine. And as for the speech, you could get Yvonne to type it up. She's in Peru. Or anyone at the front desk. I'm sure they'll help you. That chick, what's her name? Um, Trina. She's all right. Good idea. I'll delegate. Yeah, it seems like Leo's pretty good at that. <laughs> Looks like you're doing half of his work. It just seems like that because I'm so slow and useless. But that has to change. I can't let him see I'm not up to this job. <laughs> his job or yours? You take care of that boy. Oh, I will, right after I give him a good kick for being so cavalier. Well, our daddy went up to the snake and said, bite me. Well, he better not have. You sure you don't want me to take you to the airport? I'd like you to time, oh. I love you. Love you too. Job building, first of three, found this morning in a crash car. It's oh. possible they were there all night. They're all hypothermic oh. and there's a strong smell of ethanol. We couldn't rule out head injuries, they're all confused. Okay, those two in cubicles to organise a head CT, please. What about this guy? Ah, uh, this looks like a tip and fib with a GCS of 11. All right, let's get him to recess. Nurse, organise the x ray, please. Uh, you probably want to check blood alcohol levels. Uh, there are a whole lot of empties in the car, most of them broken wine bottles. Oh, that was smashed, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that was so hammered. And you kept serving. Well, I kept an eye on the situation. Uh, they left here to continue drinking, and as of checkout this morning, their rooms were still empty. So, I guess they found somewhere better to spend the night. Or they pulled an all-nighter and then went straight to work. <sighs> they will be feeling sore this morning, but still, they paid for their room and everything. That's for three people? Yeah. Seasoned drinkers, my kind of customers. They meet for business once a month, and they love the place so much that they've already booked in for the end of October. See, it's all about complimentary services, so I really think we're onto a good thing here. Wow. Oh, no, uh, let me. You have earned yourself an easy morning. Well, don't mind if I do. Latte and a biscotti. Thank you. You know it's a pity that Bella couldn't squeeze in a coffee break. Well, if she learns to finish her work faster, maybe next time she will. She's been working fast and hard all night, in fact, at programs above her skill level. Are you saying she's incompetent? Just the opposite, as she's proven. You know, in my opinion, I'd say she's working at an executive assistant level. And in your opinion, what exactly do you think an executive assistant does? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Passport, ID, Indonesian rupiah. Oh, I need to get the limit extended on my credit card. I just ring them on the way. Mm, if they let me. <laughs> just explain it's an emergency. Um, make sure you keep all your receipts. I'll call Daniel's travel insurer and see where they can transfer into your account. Are you sure you can't come too? <laughs> You'll be fine. So we'll do. 
sorry. I'm uh, monopolising him, aren't I? No, no, not at all. Um, good luck, Sarah. I hope it goes well. It will. Come here. Now go. Get out of here. Um, call me when you talk to this doctor. OK, um, I will. Bye. Bye. It's always easier being strong for other people, eh? Well, there's no point in worrying to another full story. We can always put dinner off again, you know? No chance. I, uh, need the distraction. Well, uh, they can be distracting. Oh, no, no! Give it back! Oh. OK, what happened? Oh, I don't know. One minute we were getting on fire, the next minute I ate all my work! I hate you! Okay, stop it, Ed. Tell me what you've done. Oh, I, I, don't know, I was clicking out of, like, a million different pages and it kept saying, do you want to save changes? And I didn't, and the one I actually did want to save, I... What, you automatically clicked no? Oh, it's gone, isn't it? OK, uh, don't touch anything. Uh, try and get hold of IT and see if they can retrieve it. They can't. I already know they can't. Oh, it was all morning's work. Look, your dad's speech is still on here. I told you to delegate that. I tried, but that girl, what's her name, Trina, she was already doing some typing for Leo. It was urgent. Of course it was. Oh, he's going to kill me. Or you could tell him what happened and then he could help you redo it. I don't want him to know how thick I am. You're not thick, you're stressed, and he shouldn't be giving you so much work. He took his legally entitled break and you should take yours. He got through all his work and had time for a break. Because he doesn't do anything. It just seems that way because he's so good at doing what he does. Yeah, he is. No, but you can help Bella. Steam is about to come out her ears. I told her I'd drop off this spreadsheet in case she imploded. If Bella is struggling, it's her responsibility to work out a solution. I sympathise, but I have my own workload to get through. Which is? I don't have to explain myself to you. Now, if you'll kindly leave my office. Oh, Rachel's office. Fitting, isn't it, since I'm doing Rachel's work? Only, I'm not too sure that Rachel's a fan of Sudoku. Out. Is Bella doing all your work for you, or just the stuff you don't know how to do? Just because your father is a CEO doesn't give you authority to question my movements. You're right. But the tiniest little mention to Dad, and I'm pretty sure he'll be able to figure it out for himself. It all looks lovely. Thanks. I'm certain not to go too overboard. No need. And besides, you're probably shattered from last night. Yeah, but I also wanted to keep things low-key. Sounds good. Really? I was hoping it wouldn't be anticlimactic or anything. <laughs> Don't be silly. I'm sure it'll be extremely climactic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I mean... Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, please. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're not drinking? Not for me. One glass would probably be flat on my back. Sleeping, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Leo, can we have a chat about budgets? Sure, I'll be in my office. Say 20 minutes. Great. Hang on. Oh, I know this guy. Joel? Yeah, that's him. Doesn't have alcohol poisoning, does he? No, but alcohol was a factor. He and his mates were in a car accident last night. They drove? They could barely stand. Well, I guess they have Brody to thank for that. Hey? The bar manager guy. Free drinks, more shots. He was practically tipping it down their throats. I doubt they were protesting. He has to take responsibility, too. I guess he thought he should make the most of it. Uh, Callum, look, if it's about that presentation, yes, you can have an extension, but... Uh, it's not about work. But I think there's something you need to know. Good, you got my message. I did. And I hope this little chat we need to have can start with an explanation. Well, it speaks for itself. I mean, he had it coming. I beg your pardon? He's arrogant and lazy. I'm surprised he can even walk straight without help. You're lucky he can walk at all. You're lucky he's not dead. 
What are we talking about? I was told you had a group of businessmen in here last night, highly intoxicated. Well, yes, Brody said that they were quite drunk, but he also arranged for them to stay upstairs. Only they didn't. They were given a couple of bottles of wine and sent on their way. Their night ended when their car was driven into a ditch. Are they okay? They're alive. But one of them has just been released from surgery. Well, I didn't know. Sophie, you own this bar. It is your job to know. I was also told that your staff will be encouraging this sort of thing from now on. They're not encouraging drink driving. Getting people to drink to excess so they will spend the night upstairs. Or didn't you know about that either? I never imagined you could be so reckless and irresponsible. I know Kieran wasn't above this sort of thing. But to hear that my own daughter will be making a quick buck at the expense of others... I have never been more disappointed. Um, this was amazing. Thank you. Yeah, you should, uh, see what I got planned for you next. Hmm. What's that? That's it. Uh, could be Sarah. Yeah, she kind of got to check out of here. Hello. Well, slow down. Uh, tell me what happened. Well, can you get the first flight tonight? Well, there's not much we can do. At least you've made that fight. can catch the first flight tomorrow. Just ring the hospital from there and stop me panicking. Uh, <coughs> Sarah, I've got to go. I'll call you back. What's going on? I, th I think we better just quit while we're ahead. Um, look, I shouldn't have answered the phone. I realised... TK, I, I... you're a great guy. Perhaps a little bit too great. Sarah and Daniel are, are such a huge part of your life. Sarah was stuck in Sydney trying to get... I don't the doubt that she needed to... you. I, I don't doubt that she needed you. But I have a feeling that she's always going to need you. And one man can only be stretched so far. Mm. This might sound selfish, but um, I don't think I can begin a relationship with someone who isn't 100% focused on me. Tans, it's not like that. Please, I'm... don't try and talk me out of it. I, I've already made up my mind. I, I think it'll be a lot easier for both of us if we're just friends. Next up here this morning, Al gets dragged into a patient's paranoid world on Doctors.